from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Thursday morning, South Plains. We're waking up to some mild conditions across portions of the area and some calmer winds. The good news about today, it looks like those winds will remain calm for the entirety of our Thursday, and we haven't been able to say that for quite some time. Out across the country this morning, we're still watching that cold front that moved through our region yesterday. That has pushed well on off to our east, bringing some more showers and storms to portions of Mississippi and Alabama this morning. But notice for us here in West Texas, Looks like we are free and clear of any clouds. A few more possible later on today, but overall not a bad start to our day. We do have a few clouds showing up there on our Overton East live sky view, but that's about the most that we're expected to see across the region throughout our Thursday. High temperatures today will top out warmer than where we were yesterday in Lubbock. On our Wednesday, we topped out at 75. Today, forecasting a high near 83, 80 in Dimmit, 85 in Brownfield, and 86 degrees for Seminole down in Gaines County. Tonight, those low temperatures are going to be above average. It will only get down into the middle to low 40s up north, mid 50s here in the Hub City, and then down to our south. Looks like we will stay in the upper 50s and some locations not getting out of the 60s. By tomorrow, it will be warmer across the area, especially off into the rolling plains where a few more middle to upper 80s are expected. 87 in Jayton, 82 for Lubbock, 76 in Friona. Notice it's a little cooler up north. That's because a cold front will move through during the afternoon and evening hours on our Friday, bringing in some cooler air Friday night. Now today we told you those winds aren't going to be too bad, maybe gusting upwards of 20 miles per hour over western zones from Curry County down through Lee County in New Mexico. Tonight though, those winds will increase just a little bit. We could see the occasional gust over 30 miles per hour area wide. And then tomorrow's that cold front races through the area. Looks like the winds will shift to the north behind it, gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour. So we could possibly see a little bit more of that blowing dust tomorrow night. Tomorrow throughout the day, though, we do have that elevated risk of fire weather for all of the counties in orange. So outdoor burning not advised. We are anticipating the latest update for our drought monitor later on today. But this map right here shows last week's update. Unfortunately, between then and now, haven't seen any rainfall, so we're not expecting that to improve. But there could be some hope on the horizon. Notice as we head into next week here, the time right above my head, Tuesday at noon, a few showers begin to pop up in the area. Those lingering on in to Wednesday, even possibly on into Thursday of next week. So those rain chances going up a little bit as we head into next week with the European model showing a little over of a third of an inch of rainfall. That would be great if we could get it into our area. Our ag producers definitely need that. And the forecast looks hopeful. The next six to 10 days above average chances of precipitation, but it could be a little bit cooler with highs possibly in the 50s and 60s. But you know what, Kathleen, as long as we're not forecasting highs below freezing, I think we'll be okay with that. It's going to be warm though now through Sunday, a high on Sunday of 87, and then notice those 60s return next week. Typically this time of year, we should be in the middle 70s, so the mid 60s, not too bad, but a little below average for this time of year. All right, perfect end to the week to get outside and great weekend to get oh, yeah. outside too, hopefully before some rain chances. Yeah, and hopefully we do get that rain Let's in the hope area. So.